welcome back to my channel. My name is Candy. If you're new here, I want to welcome you. And I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now, today in the kitchen, I will be sharing my recipe for macaroni and chicken stew. This is a Guyanese favorite, and I hope you guys will enjoy the recipe. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is your chance to go right ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know there's something here you will like and you will enjoy. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And guys, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. Now let's jump right into it. Okay guys, now let's take a quick look at our ingredients or shopping list. Now here I have some bell peppers, onions and thyme. I have my chicken, well seasoned. I'm using chicken thighs, but you can use any part of the chicken that you like. I have some green peas, some corn, some carrots, green onions and cilantro. I have garlic and ginger. I'll be using some tomato sauce, some brown sugar. I have some chicken bouillon, some of my very own all-purpose seasoning black pepper and some complete seasoning and here's the macaroni that I'll be using I'll be using this kind uh, this is what I'm used to back in Guyana this is our go-to macaroni that we'll use for things like macaroni stew or uh, macaroni and cheese whatever this is the kind that we usually use well that's back then but I don't know what they use now but you can use whatever kind of macaroni you like. And here's what I use to season my chicken. First, I washed in lemon juice and vinegar. And I use some smoked paprika. I use some complete seasoning, black pepper, chicken bouillon, some of my very own all-purpose seasoning. Guys, this is the holy grail. You can find the link to the seasoning down in my description box if you guys want to purchase. And I have some of my fresh green seasoning. This is also the holy grail. I always cook with this stuff. You guys know that. And I will be using some Chief's Chinese sauce. Let's get right into it. Now we'll add all of these seasonings to our chicken. And then we'll add about two tablespoons of that Chinese sauce. That Chinese sauce is so good. Like back in Guyana, we use that to cook and we put it on almost everything. It's kind of like a brown sauce that we use for color and flavor. And it is so good, guys. So we'll add about two tablespoons of that here and we'll mix until well combined. We'll set this aside and let it marinate for about two hours. I'll add my brown sugar and I will allow this to caramelize. This will add color and sweetness to the dish. Now if you don't know how to do this, you can always use some browning sauce, some soy sauce or any brown sauce that you desire. You know this part here is really technical and if you don't do it the right way, your dish will end up tasting very bitter. You have to know how to burn your sugar to not get that you know bitter effect because there are stages to this and once you see it reaches a nice uh, chocolate brown but not too dark then is when you want to add your meat so once it turns a nice dark brown like this we'll now add our chicken you don't want it to get too dark because that's what causes the burnt bitter effect and you don't want that so now we'll mix this in really well and then we'll let it go for about 10 minutes.
Next, we'll add our tomato sauce and we'll let them all go for about five minutes. This time, we will sit the lid on so that the chicken release all of its juices. And guys, my kitchen smells so amazing. I wish you guys could smell what's going on in here. So at this point, we will now add our garlic and ginger, our onions, bell peppers, and our thyme. We will mix them all well and allow them to go for about three minutes, just so they can release those flavors and aromatics. Next, we'll add our vegetables here. We'll add our corn, our carrots, our peas, and we will add our macaroni here, guys. This is the twist. I will add my macaroni, but first you need to break the macaroni up a bit. You can't add them in just as they are. You have to break them up and we'll add them in here. I'm using about a quarter of a pack. I'm not using the entire pack and we will mix everything in and we'll add our seasonings here to flavor and add taste to the dish and we'll mix it in and we'll let it all go for about five minutes just so that macaroni can absorb those flavors and taste super super amazing now i know this is not the way most people will cook their macaronis do but this is the og way only a few older folks will know about this technique that I'm doing here. Like most people will boil their macaroni first, then they'll cook their stew separately, and then they will add the macaroni to the stew. Now I feel like that is just coating the macaroni on the outside with the stew, and your macaroni is left with no flavor on the inside, just bland. And I don't like to do that. This method I'm using here, your macaroni gets cooked in the stew, so it's flavored all the way through. And it's absolutely amazing. After you try this recipe, you'll never go back to eating it the other way ever again. This is just elite. It is top tier. It is bomb. It is fire. It is, I can't find enough words to describe it. So we're cooking this for about 10 minutes, just so that the noodles can absorb all the flavors and you know, everything. And we'll give it a mix like five minutes in so that nothing is sticking at the bottom and the noodles will be evenly coated. Next, we'll add some hot water here so that the temperature stays the same. And then we'll mix this in the water should be at least two inches above your noodles. And we'll cover this and allow this to cook until our noodles are tender. But you know, we will keep stirring like every five minutes or so. We'll stir to make sure nothing is sticking and that all of our noodles are being cooked evenly. So at this point, I will taste to make sure that everything is on point. And if not, I'll add what needs to be added. And I like my macaroni soft for this recipe. So I will add a little bit more water and allow my noodles to continue cooking. So guys, we have finally come to the end of this recipe. And this is the part where we'll add our finishing touches and that is our green onions and cilantro and that's it guys this is how i make a super delicious and flavorful 
macaroni and chicken stew i do hope you guys give the recipe a try and now i will plate this up and i'll be back with the finished product So I'll be enjoying my macaroni and chicken stew with some white rice and a simple garden salad. I do hope you guys give the recipe a try. It is absolutely amazing and you guys will not regret trying it. And I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know how you guys make your macaroni and chicken stew. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.